You've probably heard of a ketogenic or a keto diet, but have you heard of a well-formulated ketogenic diet? It's a term coined by keto research pioneers, Dr. Steve Finney and, and Dr. Jeff Volek. And it's a, it's a term we're hearing more and more with the dramatic rise in research investigating ketosis as a powerful treatment for mental and metabolic health. Studies showing impressive improvement or even remission of bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, depression, type two diabetes, and more. But how exactly is a well-formulated keto diet defined? Well, these are the key features as defined by Dr. Volek in his research studies. First, the goal is capillary or finger stick ketone levels, specifically beta hydroxybutyrate, above 0.5 millimoles per liter, right? So the goal is to get you into nutritional ketosis. And they get there by eating less than 50 grams of carbs per day. Importantly, that's net carbs for whole foods and total carbs for processed or packaged foods. And next is protein, around 1.5 grams per kilogram of reference body weight, which is essentially determined by your height. So for example, if you're a woman between five foot four and five foot seven, they recommend 75 to 95 grams of protein per day. A man five foot eight to five foot 10, 85 to 105 grams of protein per day. And we have a whole video about protein intake on a keto diet that, that may help explain this even more. But then the rest of the calories are comprised of fat with an emphasis on whole food sources of saturated fat and monounsaturated fat to help you feel full and provide the energy calories. Now they also encourage specific foods such as non-starchy vegetables. So think cauliflower and broccoli and bell peppers as opposed to the starchier vegetables like potatoes and beets and sweet potatoes and those, okay? They also recommend low glycemic fruits like berries, olives, and lemons. And they recommend meat, poultry, fish, nuts, seeds, and oils such as olive oil, avocado, and coconut oil, and cheese, butter, cream, eggs, and then supplementing with electrolytes as needed. So by inference, because they recommend those, they recommend avoiding added sugars and grains and other starches and high sugar fruits like bananas and grapes and, and minimizing industrial fats and sugar alcohols. So it's a true whole foods, omnivore, low carb, adequate protein, high fat diet. That's a well-formulated keto diet. Now, when you hear the term, hopefully you know what they're talking about, okay? So in this quick video, I hope this was helpful to give you that idea. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us at Metabolic Mind for more content about ketosis, ketogenic therapy, and metabolic psychiatry.